Watch this. Church, R.E.G., summer camp. This is living. This is best friends. This is show me your friends. I'll show you your future. This is the drum, tribal wars, dance parties, prayer, peace, worship. This is having your people, your tribe, your crew. This is going after Jesus, unashamedly, wholeheartedly, with everything. For he is alive in us, and we are never alone. We are young and free. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young, but be an example to all. This is Revival. This is real, authentic youth. studio. This is very exciting everybody. First of all, welcome to Hillsong Youth Week 23. Woo! 23. Week 23. That's a big number. The greatest athletes, greatest of all time athletes, 23. This is going to be the greatest of all time tonight. Wow. That's what I mean. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> of course I do, LeBron. Hey! Uh, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Uh, um, Drew Mears. <laughs> hey, it's so good to have everyone joining us. Okay, take a good look around. Look we are in a new studio space. Same studio space, There's but so different. Much space. I mean, look at this. You can run around, you can spin, you can stay socially distant. I mean, guys, <laughs> this is where it's at. Hillsong so Youth, Friday night, I have Youth to Online. You, I don't know if you've, you've fully grasped this. Grasped, I like it. But we are in a brand new studio. During the week, the team have completely transformed this space. They've given it a makeover. And we have gone from like pretending, like just kind of pretending to be like proper, but now we are legit. We are a legitimate studio yeah. uh, television uh, people. Youth is on the move, people, but hey, we're pumped that you're here. It's not too late to send the link out to your friends. Invite them to youth. Young adults, send the link out. Tell them to leave the club and come to church. Be here in the youth ministry. It's going to be great. Also are tonight... Are you wearing my jacket? Yeah. You are. Look, I am wearing Laura's jacket. You know what was really embarrassing? I was wearing this today and a girl came up to me and said, hey, that's the sickest jacket. I've got the exact same jacket. And I'm like, interesting. I didn't tell her it was Laura's. I'm sure she worked that out. But anyway, it's so good to have everyone join in. Tonight is the night of all nights. It We've is. got our youth pastors, Drew, Mears, and Steph O'Beary, who are going to be helping us host the night. They're um, over in our uh, another set, at, in at, another at room. Studio B. Yeah, Studio yeah. B. This is Studio <laughs> A. Stu no, we're joking. But also tonight, Pranks with Pappas is back. I'm excited about that because I feel like Pappas has been a little bit MIA. Yeah. And I'm ready for I'm ready for a good prank with Pat. Absolutely. Chat from the plat. You're going from the chat to the platform. We've got one of our students who is going to be bringing the preach tonight Isabel. for a moment. 
And tonight, speaking of preachers, we've got the great Carly Charasco. Carrasco. Or Carrasco, who's going to be bringing the message tonight. So you don't want to go anywhere. Subscribe if you've just joined us. You know what's going to happen if you subscribe as what, well. What's going to happen? I don't know. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> we are going to do what we do best. We're going to praise God right now. So come on, get your dancing shoes on. I'm going to hand it to Isaac and the team. So come on, light up the chat, sing with us. Let's do it, Isaac. Well, come on, we're going to sing. Come on, this is one of my favorite songs from the album. Come on, here we go. I was searching for something. Something I knew was there but couldn't see. I remember the moment when the one I was searching for found me. And I can make sense of it, no getting how much your love changed everything Oh, cause I know you now How could I go without Jesus You're more than enough for me I don't need anything else But I need your love I need your love I don't want anything else I need your love I need your love I feel like I have to walk a day before just to get here. And uh, listen, <laughs> where's Laura? <laughs> Do you know what? I was, taking... I was so busy just watching Isaac just dance like nobody else is watching. Good vibes, Isaac. I know, I Good was... vibes. Hey, shout outs. Let us know where you're from. This is what I want to do. I want to give my own shout outs, first oh. of all. Ben Burns, uh, he, he found himself in hospital, one of our great uh, high school senior students. Uh, we love you, but a shout out to Ben right there. Uh, listen, I want to shout out to all our youth leaders. If you're a youth leader, I want you to throw me a yellow heart in the chat, okay? If you're a youth leader, throw me a yellow chat. If you are from Melbourne, oh, yeah. all right, we're going to show some love to Melbourne. Uh, throw us a purple heart, all right? Purple Heart in the military. That's that's isn't that like a that's like a a bravery. Um... Look, I can tell you. <laughs> so Melbourne, throw us a Purple Heart. We want to see you in the chat. Look, I want to know also. This is going to be a weird one. This is yeah. going to be a weird one. Yeah. If you've got a crazy talent, okay. Oh. 
throw up a red heart, all right? That's all I want to see, a red heart. What if are you... we going to do with those red hearts? Well, we're going to take note of them and we might give you a call later on, all right? But, hey, let's do uh, some shout-outs before we oh, cross over to Drew to and Ava. Steph. Okay, Ava Gruel is my second cousin, my cousin's oh, daughter. Oh, the and cousins. It's, it's her birthday today. Sup, so happy cousin. Happy birthday, Ava. We love you, Ava. My family. Okay, George from Melbourne should be throwing up a uh, purple heart right there. Sahil from Southwest, we love you. Joanna from City Campus. Oh, look at this, New Zealand. New Zealand. Kia bro. Uh, that's Natalie watching in from New Zealand. My people. Uh, Jill from the Hills Campus. Who else have we got out there? Did you say Joanna? Oh, look at all the chats. It looks like LA Laker colors. <laughs> yeah. Go the Lakers, you know the playoffs. Anyways. <laughs> We're going to cross over right now to our other studio. Studio B over there. Steph and Drew, over to you. Woo! What's happening, guys? Well, hello, everyone. We are coming at you live from Studio B. Studio B, also you heard it known here first. as the Supercube Design Now, team. you guys may not know this, but we are in something pretty special. One it's may huge. even say magnificent. Revival. 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 We now, had this ship from, from NASA. From NASA. You might be thinking about NASA. What's What's NASA? NASA? That's what I say to I you. I don't know. NASA. NASA. That's who designed this. It's a beautiful thing. It's the Super Cube. Yeah, Super Cube. You can put it on the chat right now. Super Cube. Super Cube. Super Cube. Okay, now step. It's huge. It's huge. This studio is insane. <laughs> what we're a part of is insane. It's crazy. <laughs> it's true, Drew. Yeah. Something that we have coming up right now. Everyone loves this. This is a standalone event on a Friday night. Yeah, we all belong to Every one week, fraction. someone's going, where is it? Where is it? We want it. We want it. Well, guess what? Months. We've Turn heard your cry. And we want you to put in the chat really soon, representing Love Hearts, because there's a theme going on. Yeah, yeah. So you got red, yellow, blue, green. and green. Yeah, that's it. People have been calling it tribal challenges, but still. Right. I don't think that's how it's pronounced. It's a takeover. It's, it's not NASA, it's NASA. It's not challenges, it's challenges. And so tonight we have tribe challenges. Every tribe make some noise in the chat with your love heart. Woo! Just gonna outfit change. <laughs> So we are back, yes, Micah, Anastasia. we're back with The Maze and um, they clearly couldn't think of a good name and we couldn't come up with something no, better. We're, so, we're still back at The Maze. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Pack Woman, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good, feeling good. How starving are you? Extremely. Extremely <laughs> starving. Right. Wow, wow. Well. Pack woman is starving. Well, we have over here in the blue corner, we have Torah representing the blue tribe, kind of like the five first books of the Old Testament. Isn't that right, Torah? Without the H, though. Without the H, she says. So that's T-O-R-A. Over here on the yellow tribe, we have, what is your name? Bella. Bella, kind of like... Bell with an A on the end, I guess. Grace, maybe you got some final words to say to Bella. Maybe Kelsey has some final words to Tora before we start tonight. All right, Bella, focus now. We want to make sure you stay in the lines and pop those balloons and avoid Miss Pack Woman, all right? Oh, Blue Tribe's just, I think they're praying for each other. Just go hard. Just stomp on everything. Just stomp as hard as you can. You can do this. Well, well Gundry, here we go. We're going we to start. Ready. In three, two, one, go! All right, here we go. Tora has popped two bubbles at the start. Stay inside the lines. Pop the balloons as you can without well, counting for it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is wild stuff, country. Oh, Blue has just been hit by the Pac-Man. Has to go from to the very beginning. I never thought a maze could be so amazing. Here we go. You know what? This looks like a cardio workout. This is a cardio <laughs> workout. You know, I might do this later. Oh, she's got trapped! You're yellow try back to the start. Back to the start, back to the start. Oh, did it touch? It did it. Pac-Man is stalking Tora. We have five seconds left, and we're gonna finish in three, two, one. one. 
Time. Zero. Stop popping. Anastasia, that was such a close so round. So close. I could not believe it. So close, Micah. I heard it was 22 to 21. One point difference. One that point is difference. crazy. That was amazing, to say the least, country. <laughs> that was amazing. Wow. But yeah. however, there is only one winner here. One winner. We it was a very close score. contest, country. Very close. Without further ado, the official winner of Amazing, the, the, the amazing maze. maze. The Amazing Maze. Is. The female round is. Blue Drive <laughs> Tora! Tora took it out without the H. Tora without the noise. H. That is very Tora important. Tora without the H. T-O-R-A. Few words, Tora. That was fun. In the yeah. comments, Blue Tribe, well show done, us your Tora. blue hearts. We are so proud of Blue Tribe. Well done. Good job. Okay, up next, we have our leaders round. We have our powerhouse leader versus our youth leader. That's right, Anna. We have never done this in the history of tribal challenges, going age group vs age group. It's going to be exciting. Going straight to the sidelines with Josh Gundry. Well, thanks, Drew and Anastasia. Here we are with our... Our next round here, we have our youth leaders round. Yes. Gundry. Yes. So over here we have our Green Tribe contestants here. What is your name, young man? Trent. Trent. Don't get it wrong. You gotta pronounce the T's there. Trent, how are you feeling right about now about this tribal war? I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm excited. And it's gonna be a good time. Well, well, you know what they say about nice guys, Gundry. Yes, fantastic. And we have one person here representing the Red Tribe. What is your name? Uh, yeah, it's Etoy. Do you feel ready? Do you feel confident, e tight? Yeah, 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 no, nah, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt, this is the biggest moment of my tribal leading career. This is it. When you see greatness in someone, you know. And this is something that he's born to do. Here we have Etai representing Red Tribe for the powerhouse round. And uh, he really is that, a powerhouse. We're ready to get started right now. Here we go. Are we ready, contestants? In three, three two, two, one, go! And Itai is through. Lighting He's climbing the, the ladder. Out of the gates, country. And they are off. They're oh, so fast. Horses at the race course. What is happening? He has just gone around the walls of Jericho. It seems like our powerhouse leader is in front. Kieran is championing his man on. We have Trent, the nice guy, Trent, leading Trent, the way. Trent. Keeping a close eye out for a photo finish. We are here at the end, waiting to see who's going to come over the final hop first. The final balloon. And there it is. The final Trent. balloon has been oh. captured. It seems like power. Wow. Oh, my, oh my word. Oh, my gosh. Wow. My heart is racing. That was intense, Tristan. Wow. I that... felt that in my soul. Jeez. So right now, gents, let's hold those hands out. Let's count those tokens. We got one. We have one, plus finishing the obstacle course first. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And we have Eat Thai here, who's ready to eat some Thai. How many tokens did you well, get? We'll be the judge of that. Zero tokens. Zero tokens. That is a new low record for the course, Tristan. Wow, a zero <laughs> and an equal best one. <laughs> Zero wow. points for seen, Take me now, I've seen it all, I've seen it all. Okay, I gotta say I love tribal shaloshes. 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 And I also love seeing our young adults get involved as well. If you're a young adult, <laughs> come on. Light up that chat right now. Let us know you're there. By the way, speaking of young adults, we love our young adult community, Hillsong Youth and Young Adults, because this Wednesday night is the night, uh, Neighbourhood. Oh, yeah. The Neighbourhood is premiering, and guess who we have this week? Am I right by saying we have... <laughs> we don't know who we have yet? Okay, it could be either one or two of these people. Number one. Okay, Oprah. young adults, Number you listen. One. Oprah. No. What? Number two. <laughs> Laura. Or number three, Dr. Caroline Leaf. Yeah, I think so, it's Oprah, personally. Yeah, same. Yeah. I think it's 
gonna be, it is gonna be Dr. Caroline Leaf, or it could be Jeremy Courtney, Preemptive Love. So young oh, adults, for you, yeah. it either is gonna be Dr. Caroline Leaf or Jeremy Courtney. Now, because I've jumped the gun, uh, the team is scrambling right now, trying yeah. to work out which one it's gonna be. <laughs> Sean's over there making some calls. Yes, yes, so Rob Stanmore, maybe shoot me a text, let me know exactly who it's gonna be so I can come back in and clean this up, okay? <laughs> but either Dr. Caroline Leaf or Jeremy Courtney. However, or Laura. Her. Or Oprah. You and your Oprah. I'm pretty sure half these young people would not know who Oprah is, I, do you think? That is a travesty. That would be a travesty. Yes. Hey, big O for Oprah. Do you say that? Like A for Alpha, O for Oprah? That's what I say. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, this Friday night, Laura coming. This oh my gosh. 28th of August. One Put this in your diaries. week. This time next week, we will be having the biggest party that we have ever had as Hillsong Youth. Mm -hmm. You might be asking, why? Why? Why, Pete? <laughs> well, next Friday, put this in your diary right now, is the Young and Free All My Best Friends album launch Woo! party launching here on Friday night. I am so excited. So Young and Free Youth Ministry, oh. we are releasing the long-awaited summer camp all my best friends do you remember, album. Do you remember that night when we recorded the album? Oh, do I remember it. Oh man, that was one of the best nights of my life. It, it was, was. It was so much fun. It feels like so long ago. That's and I, right. I'm so excited that finally, after all of this time, we're releasing it so that the world can experience yes. Yes. what we experienced that night. So look, it's going to be an all my best friends night. So bring your best friends along. Yes. Young and Free are going to be very involved Young with the free night. Young and Free are taking over. It's going to be a different type of night, all right? Youth yep. online, but we're having an album launch party launching here party. in Sydney, Australia do you first. Remember, does anyone remember when we released Alive and the whole youth ministry got a Krispy Kreme donut? Yes. I'm feeling something like that. What, we're going to Uber <laughs> Krispy Kremes to every house? I can dream. A girl yeah. can dream. Absolutely. And I call my you friend dream, Oprah. Girl. Oprah would do that. She would make that happen. Remember, Friday night next week, all my best friends, young and free, we are launching the Fantastic. album. Globally, it's Globally. gonna be amazing. Yes. Young and Free gonna be part of the night. Different night, all right? Different type of night, party night. It's gonna be awesome. But hey, check out this trailer and then Drew and Steph are gonna let us know what's coming up next. Whatever this next record was gonna be, it needed to be something that belonged to this generation. What Young and Free has always been. Let's just go back to what it was all about and that's young people loving God and seeing the kingdom of heaven on earth. That's all we want to do is like bring songs that the youth can run with. Then it becomes the anthem. So we decided let's record at Summer Camp. That's the most like true expression of our youth. I record for our youth group and by our youth group. Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. My gosh. One Steffi. word. Indescribable. Um, yeah, it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. I cannot wait, Drew. What's your favorite song? It's it's best friends. It has to be best friends. It has to be. An Can you give us a demo? All of my best friends are sick of remix. You're indescribable. That's what they say. Oh dang, that didn't oh, flow man. as well as I thought it would. <laughs> There's a re yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Kevin, Kevin. Oh, Kevin. I thought I'd get like some synth. Is that a word? Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. So, give it up for uh, DJ JJ. What's that JJ. word called again when they make your voice sound awesome? Synthetic. No, nah, that's not it. Yeah. It's, a it's feel. not synthesis. Maybe it's, it's auto tune. Oh, auto tune. Auto -tune. It's your, yeah. I thought they'd be like, hey. Bro, where were you? We need you. Oh, okay. Anyway, so the album is going to be better than that. Put your favorite song in, in the, the chat. chat right in now. The chat. It's going to be amazing. Now, Steph, I'm just doing Drizzy. the math here. Um, <laughs> seven more sleeps until yeah, yeah, the including. album launches. And A lot I'm can just, happen in seven sleeps. That's I'm seven dream cycles. 
I just made that up. But tune in to Dr. De Caroline Leaf. She's going to let you know about your dreams. Yeah, it could be Caroline, it could be Kanye West. Huh? For all we know, it could be anyone. Anyway, we're just anyway. going, we're going here. But last week, Drew. Last week. I sat there, I was in my bedroom, my mind blown. I was, I was like, can this be a student? Preaching the word of God. Yeah, I was like, is it Judah Smith? I, like, who, who speak? Yeah. I closed my eyes and I was like, surely this man is itinerant. Yeah. But it was a young man with a little bit of faith, a little bit of Jesus, a little bit of the word in him. From the big GWS That's campus. That's right, Mr. Jury, Mr. you were Jury. outstanding. Yeah, absolutely killed. A preacher's preacher, Steph. That's right. Speaks but he to went you. from the chat and then one minute he found himself on the plat. On the plat. And so tonight we are kicking off round two from the chat to, to the, the plat. plat with the one, the only. She hails from the inner west. Let's she give a big round virtual applause to Isabella. Love you, Isabella. Hey guys, I'm Isabel from the Inner West Campus. Shout out to the Fuel Crew. And today I'm going to be talking about being an open but humble Christian. We want to be open but humble when our friends come to us for advice. As Christians, we want to be open to where we are sharing a godly perspective in all situations and we want to make sure that they know what the right thing is to do. But we want to be humble to where we are not judging but we are making sure that they are feeling loved and comfortable to talk to you. A way to do that is to remember to love the person through whatever their situation is so you don't make them feel like they are lesser than you. A verse that I want to share to you is Philippians 2, 3-6. It says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. It then goes on to show how even Jesus, who was God, he didn't think that he was better than others, and he was always humble. If Jesus was the perfect reflection of God's love, and he was was always open but humble in his leading and serving. Don't you think that God expects that from us too? I think that we just need to remember to be open but humble in all situations with our friends and with people around us. I just want to pray for everybody. Can we please close our eyes and bow our heads? Um, dear God, I pray that you give us the strength to be open but humble, that you give us the mindset that we love each other just as God loves us, Lord. I thank you for giving your one and only son down to save us and to take care of us, Lord. Amen. 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 Wow. Isabel. Isabel. My stop goodness. it. But don't stop. I mean, stop Because the stop. call of God is on your life. I was sitting there, I was oh. trying to take notes, but I couldn't, because mine, blown. Because the production guys are telling us what to say and we're trying to take notes. And, and I'm like, I can't. I just, the word of God is yeah. in this young woman. So well Isabel, done, Isabel. Amazing. The chat is that was saying that amazing. you killed it. One of our amazing fuel students, Debbie. Yes. Feel for life. Now, now Drew. Yeah. Have you ever said something that you later regretted? Have, have you, you ever, ever said that? something and then said me? Really? Really? Have you ever said maybe? I said that. Maybe like everyone gets donuts next Friday night. Like I can't wait. Uber Eats. Do you know what's going to be cool? Yeah. When we gather every single Uber Eats driver in Sydney, on the Gold Coast, in Queensland, WA. Revival. We're going. We're taking it to Cali. We're calling up California. That's California. It. We're calling <laughs> up New Zealand, and we're saying we need your Uber drivers. Everyone's getting a donut. But anyway. Anyway, that's, an, that's another. This time. was said a couple of weeks ago, Drewzy. Yeah. And when I heard it, one word, indescribable. <laughs> Unintainable. <laughs> Could it be? Yeah. We want to do something. We're going to take you back. Yeah, three weeks, maybe four. Maybe five. Maybe five. Who's maybe counting? Six. We're going to take you back in history. But words were spoken, Steph. And it's time that I feel from the chat to the plat, we just hold some people accountable yeah. to the weight. Words are weighty, The weight of the platform. <laughs> the weight of the platform. Don't you know this platform was built on sacrifice? <laughs> and what he said on here is held with high accountability. I can't wait. I'm yeah. just getting, I'm getting goosebumps yeah, let's thinking get the video. about it. Let's just get the video. Let's get let's the video. Get the video. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 Done. We're doing it. Listen, oh. I've got an idea. If our subscribers get to 20,000 on you YouTube, know what to do. it's achievable. Okay. Love I that. will bleach my wow. hair. You heard it here first. Wow. There you go. I okay. will bleach my hair. Four wow. weeks ago. Four big words. One, two, three, four. I will bleach my hair four weeks ago. And guess what, Drew? Yeah, he put a deadline on it. He gave us a deadline. He said the end of September. September. Now, listen, you guys love your stats, so let me give you some stats. <laughs> At that current moment, 
we have 3,961.5, a little sister, had subscribed to Hillsong Youth. Currently, the number I have here is 16,451. Wow, which means we only need 4,000 uh, ish uh, we subscribers. Need, yeah, we're nearly there. We're okay. almost there, so this is what we need you to do. We want to see our youth pastor, Peter Toggs, go from his natural brownish black locks. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. To a platinum blonde. We're going blondie Toggs. We're going, there's blonde, there's platinum. I'm looking for platinum. Platinum Toggs. I want some of that purple wash. That's Let it. You know where you get the purple wash? Well, we went from the chat to the plat. Maybe we go Interesting from the Interesting story. To the I once tried to dye my hair blonde. I went orange. Could Tugsy go orange? No one knows, but you need to subscribe to find out. So make sure no you subscribe. Oh, please do me a favor. For every subscription, I just spoke to Steph, <laughs> and this is Justin Fresh. She's going to cut a plat of For hair. every 500 subscribers, <laughs> I'm going to cut a braid off. Yeah. For every 500 subscribers, Drew is going to shave a knuckle hair. What? He's shaving knuckles, he's shaving toe knuckles, he's shaving, I mean waxing, not yeah. shaving. I mean, imagine. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> he's waxing. Yeah, that's, that's what anyway, I said. Hashtag Blonde Togsy, put it in the chat. Blondie we want to see Togsy, it. we want to see it. Oh, we man. love to see it. <laughs> he's a fashionable man, but to see him with the blondie head. He could go next level. He we could, could go, go next go. level. Mm. Oh, okay, we gotta move on. Steph. We gotta move on. We, gotta we, move could, on. we could get stuck here. We could get stuck because of the Togsy. weighty words, four words. Yeah, All listen. Right, Will, please. I will go blood. Listen, what you say on the platform is held with high accountability. Uh, do you know what else I love, Drew? Yeah, me? Yeah, I do. You're a good man. But enough of that. We could dress. This is my day yeah, one. Is but it's not about us. It's about pranks with Pat. If you know it, you love it. So this is what you're going to do. Continue to keep your eyes fixed on the screen yeah. for pranks with Pappas. Subscribe. Pranks with Pap, we're back here. So this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna FaceTime people, vulnerable. Yeah. They can see everything. So you'll have e earbuds in. Airpods. Um, earbuds. Yep. If on, if on, if on. Um, that will be connected to my phone. Correct. But the people on the FaceTime are gonna think it's connected to, to your phone. But I will be able to hear everything they're saying and you're saying, mm -hmm. and I'll feed you lines. What up? What up? Big just keep yelling. Just keep yelling. Just like, you my man. Keep my yelling. My man! Paul! I just want to yell your name. Oh, man. Paul! I just want to yell your name. Dude, it's not, like when I think about it, I just want to yell your name. Anyway, 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 my dude, anyway. I've got an idea for you. Dude, I've got an idea. When do you have leaders, mate? Well, I don't, I'm not really sure, but what I do know is that I need 40 minutes. Oh, 100%. I, I think you need an hour. Yeah, well, maybe an hour and a half. Maybe, up, maybe an hour I, and it's half. either, Kill honestly, me. it's probably either 40 minutes or an hour and a half. Probably not an hour. Yeah. Anywhere yeah, in between. Strong, like, sections, hey. Yeah, there's a few plot points. I've got three C's, you know, like, you know, community, culture. And just if I'm if I'm to get into all three, I'll need an hour and a half. That's kombucha. Fine, kombucha is the third. And kombucha is the third, in case you were wondering. Three C's. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Three, C's. That's three C's. Three C's. Can you do it this Tuesday? Nah, I'm busy this Tuesday. Nah, I'm busy this Tuesday. Ah, bummer. Bummer. Um, how about next month? What about next month? Which Tuesday yeah, works for you next month? Why don't, why don't, why don't, can you do every Tuesday next month? Well, which which Tuesday works for you? I can only uh, do one. What, if it's you involved, I want you for all of them. Well, I can only do one. One, one hour and a half. You tell me which one. You tell me which one. The first Tuesday of next month. Lock nah, I'm busy. Day. Nah, I am busy at that one. Nah, you know what? Second. You know what? You know what? I don't you know what? Do it. Change my mind. Actually, I don't want to do this. I don't like the attitude. There's something about your spirit right now that I am not enjoying. It feels, it feels like you're so keen that you're actually playing with me right now. And like, I actually had a thought for this, but. Yeah, the three C's, community. 
This is a genuine thing. And I saw your face when I said kombucha, like you don't even love me enough to correct me that kombucha is spelt with a K. Like you just let it slide. You're gonna let me go in front of all your youth leaders and just say kombucha for a C and they would have absolutely ruined my reputation. How, how are you gonna teach these kids the Bible if you can't teach them how are you gonna teach the kids the Bible if you don't even know the alphabet, Paul? I don't know the alphabet. Thank, thank goodness you have a child that does. She certainly does. She's much smarter than I am. Did you get a fake tan? It looks really good. Wow. Well, <laughs> thank you, man. <laughs> when did you know? <laughs> he knew straight away. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hello? Hey, bro. How are you? Hey, man. Just trying to video you. I wish I had an Apple Watch. I wish I had an Apple Watch. How come you don't have an Apple Watch? I can't afford it. I can't afford it. My wife doesn't let me buy stuff. My wife doesn't let me buy stuff. <laughs> do, you wish, do you wish you had a wife that told you not to buy stuff? Do you wish you had a wife that told you not to buy stuff? I wish I had a wife. Oh, that's okay. I was thinking about our song, Live Forever, man. Do you remember that song? I love that song. Do you wanna do you wanna work on it now? Oh, Just while the idea is flowing? Do you wanna work on it right now while while the idea is kinda of fresh in my head? Like I know you're golfing, but are you too busy to <laughs> I mean How does the chorus go? Could you sing the could you sing the chorus? How does it go? Okay, yeah. Could you just quickly remind me how like the chorus went? Like, because I've changed it a lot. Oh, it's, um... Live forever! I just want your heart. Live forever! Yeah, I was like, if we, like, if we add, like, na, 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 na. Live forever! Like, just adding that? Like, what do you think about that? I'm into that. Just the screen. I think that could be really cool. I mean, if you're putting the title right in the middle of the song, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, if people can really get the title, then they'll really get the song. It would go off in the club. It would go off in the clubs, man. Don't you reckon? I it be insane. Yeah, insane. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I really miss you. I really miss you, man. All right. Yeah, you, sometimes you live and you live forever. All right, see you, bro. <laughs> All right, man. It's great chat. I think I think we've lost him. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that is so funny. <laughs> so good. All right, well, coming out of that, let's go into worship. Um, <laughs> All right, come on, let's worship. <laughs> Sorry, we need to start again because I like didn't know what the key was. <laughs> There's a simplicity, humility to the way you love me, an honesty, a purity. God, you make it easy. No special works or formula could ever win you over. For your love is undeserved Even when I can't see clearly Somehow you still make it easy Your love's uncomplicated You love me just the way I am So I stand have your way in me mm -hmm. Jesus have your way in my brokenness my loneliness and the secrets you see I do 
deepest thoughts, my hidden wars, how you see right through me. do love you. And Lord, I thank you for young people, young adults, Lord, joined here in Australia, but Lord, right around the globe. Thank you that, Lord, through technology, we're able to rally together as the youth ministry and, and really seek your presence. And that's what we're going to do in these few moments that we have. I actually do love when we get together and we worship. And, uh, you know, even though it's through a device, I think there's something powerful when all of us lean in towards it. And uh, I love that song, actually. And I mean, that's a new young and free song. And so it's really cool. But hey, we're going to pray for people right now. Yeah. And we do this every week in our youth ministry because we're a family. We, the Bible says, mourn with those who mourn, but we also dance with those who dance. And there's always good things happening, but there's challenging times for people. I will say, Laws, a praise report. We've been praying for the Milani family, who's a very much loved family in our church here in Australia based up in Queensland, uh, well, vast city in Joey are, but uh, the Milani's here in Sydney. And Mariani, who we've been praying for, uh, has 
gone back home to recover at home. She's out of hospital, out of, out of ICU. And uh, so Mariani and the Milani family, Varsity and the crew, if you're watching, we love you. We're so pumped for you. But yes. Laura, there's people needing prayer. Yes, we are going to be praying for someone who is believing for healing. Uh, someone is praying for comfort uh, for their family after loss. And I know that that's such a huge thing in this season. There's, there's so much loss. Uh, people are praying for healing from cancer. Uh, someone's ask, asking God um, to pray for their uh HSE exam. Oh, that's trials. a big one. So yeah. here in Australia, our year 12 students are about to go into their final exams, right, Paul? And uh, who's our senior high school pastor over there, but about to go into their final trials. Yeah. Our hearts are with all our year 12s, particularly yeah. if you're in Melbourne. Yeah. We love you guys. Someone's so. um, struggling with isolation as well, so we would love to pray for you. Someone um, is asking us to pray for salvation for friends. Oh, cool. I love that. I love that. So, um, yeah, let's pray. Yeah, let's pray. Yeah. You want me to pray? You pray? Do you want to pray? Oh, I'd love to pray. Yeah. I'd love to pray. <laughs> Come on, close your eyes with us. Father, I just lift up every single situation. Lord, those were only some that we were able to see in the chat. But Lord, you know the real situations and the challenges that people are going through. Lord, I lift up all our year 12s, God, at the yes, Lord, at their end of year studies. And Lord, they've put an amount of effort into it. And Lord, it's been a big year. But Lord, we know that through you, you have our futures, God. Lord, you hold our futures. And so we praise you in advance for all our year 12s. Lord, I commit all individuals to you. Lord, those needing healing. Lord, those who are feeling the, the impact of isolation. And Lord, I just pray that people would sense your presence. Lord, sense a sense of hope, God, that there is a better day coming. We will get through this pandemic. Lord, we thank you for it. I commit every person to you in Jesus' name. I pray, amen. I just really feel on my heart, there's someone watching right now and you've just been given some really bad news. And I really just feel like God really wants to arrest your heart right now where it feels chaotic, yeah. where it feels like just a whole lot of oceans and waves crashing right now because a whole lot of tension and anxiety. Just really feel whoever that is, that God's peace that surpasses all understanding is really going to speak into your situation. So whoever that is, Receive that right now in Jesus' name. Peace into your situation in Jesus' name. Well, I think we're going to go back to Drew and Steph. And I'm not even sure if you heard the last bit of what I'm saying or what, what, what I was saying. What, what could you hear? I don't even know because we had a little well, technical difficulty. Well, they're saying amen in, in the comment section. So oh, I think okay. they, got, they got it. Yeah. They got all most right. of it, hopefully. It's all good. Did they get most of that? <laughs> It wouldn't well, be youth without any technical difficulty. I've got to say that. It's part of who we are. Yeah, it wouldn't be youth without any mistakes. But anyway, <laughs> Drew and Steph, what's happening next? Well, right now we are about to go to the preaching of the word, Drew. That's right, Steph. And we are in for a treat. Known by many allies, KFC for one. Known by many is that. But guys, I'm so excited for Carly Carrasco to bring the word tonight. Carly's one of our incredible state directors here in Australia. The director. She's been a youth pastor for many years. Yep. What I love about Carly is whenever she brings the word, you know she's going to bring the word full of faith, full of the word. So wherever you are. You can just give an online clap. Give an online clap. Let's go to another level. She's a preacher's preacher. <laughs> Steffi. So if you're in your bedroom, your living room, wherever you may find yourself, why don't you lean into the Word right now? Get your notebooks, get your iPads, your iPhones, whatever you use to take notes, and let's give a massive virtual round of applause to Carly Carrasco. Revival. Hi, Hillsong Youth. It's Carly Carrasco here. I am so excited to be with you preaching tonight. So grab your Bible out, grab notebooks out, get on the chat, be involved. We're going to get straight into it. In Romans 8, 29 to 30, in the message version, it says this, God knew what he was doing from the very beginning. He decided from the outset to shape the lives of those who love him along the same lines as the life of his son, Jesus. The son stands first in the line of humanity he restored. We see the original and intended shape of our lives there in him. After God made that decision of what his children should be like, he followed it up by calling people by name, 
After he called them by name, he set them on a solid basis with himself. And then after getting them established, he stayed with them to the end, gloriously completing what he'd begun. I wanna speak to you tonight from the subject or the title, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for tonight, for this opportunity, Youth Online. We love you. We love your presence. We love your house. Would you be with every single one of us? In Jesus' name, amen. I've got two small boys at home, uh, Cohen Alexander and Noah Ryder. And one of the things that my husband and I decided from a very early age, that we wanted to affirm our boys. We wanted to tell them all the time how much they're loved, how much they mean to us. And so we started this thing in our household when Cohen was very small. I don't even know when we started or I can't remember how it began, but every single day we do this in our house. One of us does this. We'll turn to Cohen and we'll say, Cohen, can I ask you a question? And at first when he was younger, he'd say yes, you know, kind of go along with it. But now he says yes and gets so excited because he knows what's coming. We say, Cohen, can I ask you a question? Why are you so brave? Why are you so handsome? Why are you so kind, so generous? Why are you so gifted? And we'll interchange different words. Well, because we do this every day, it got to the stage where now Cohen knows exactly what's coming. So when we say, Cohen, can I ask you a question? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we say, why are you so, and then we pause, and he finishes the sentence. He tells us, mum, I'm so handsome. And I'm like, yes, you are. Mum, I'm so brave. And one of the reasons we did this was because we wanted to remind him and get it in his thought process and his memory, just how amazing and gifted and loved he is. And by doing it, he remembers it. And so now he finishes the question every time himself. Your memory, otherwise known as recall, has three core processes. It has free recall, serial recall, and cued recall. Free recall tells us we've learnt something all year at school and now you're gonna have a test. You need to sit down with no, quest no answers, just questions, no multiple choice. You just kinda have to free range your memory and try to work out what it is that's gonna get you the A. That's free recall. Serial recall says, I want you to talk about a time, a date, a place, the order of events that happened in your life and get it exactly right. But cued recall says, well, I want to give you a list, a list, but I actually want to give you hints and clues and I want to remind you. I want to kind of reenact and nudge you and say, actually, here's the answer. That's what cued recall is. Just like we would remind Cohen how brave and kind and smart he is, this is what God does for us. He, he gives us cued recall. He gives us the Holy Spirit who nudges us and guides us and tells us exactly what we need to be reminded about every single day. This is what God God does for us and it triggers our memory to remind us of all the good things God has ever done for us in our life. So I want to give you a couple of things from Romans 8, some cued recall, things that you need to be reminded, things that I need to be reminded about in this life. So number one, you and I have been shaped. We've been shaped. Romans 8, 29 says God, what he, God knew what He was doing from the very beginning. He decided from the outset to shape the lives of those who love Him along the same lines as the life of His Son. The Son stands first in the line of humanity He restored and we see the original and intended shape of our lives there in Him. Your original intent was to be shaped like Jesus. Your size, your culture, your color, your shape, everything about you that's you, your life, everything that makes you you was designed to reflect Jesus. Everything about you reflects Jesus. Have you heard that saying, you might be the only Jesus that your friends ever see? Well, let's just break it down for a moment. Every time you show kindness and compassion, you show Jesus, the same Jesus you were shaped 
to be like. Every time you use wisdom to make the right decision and avoid peer pressure or temptation, you show Jesus, the same Jesus you were shaped to be like. Every time you're generous and put the kingdom first, you tithe, you give, you show uh, generosity to somebody in need, you show Jesus, the same Jesus you were designed and shaped to look like. Your life is shaped to reflect Jesus. So number one, you've been shaped. Number two, you've been named. You've been shaped to reflect Jesus, but you've been named. Romans 8, 29 goes on and it says, after God made the decision of what his children should be like, he followed it up by calling people by name. Do you know what your name means? If you do, go ahead, write it in the chat right now. We wanna see some definitions. Some are funny, some are probably awesome definitions. But when we were choosing our boys' names, we wanted them to be strong. I mentioned Cohen Alexander. Cohen means priest and Alexander means defender of people. If you know my son Cohen, you know he's a talker, he's a communicator, he's like a pastor, he loves people. And if you get in an elevator with him, he will not make it awkward. He will just keep talking to you about anything and everything. Noah Ryder, Noah means rest or comfort and Ryder means Calvary man or messenger. What does your name mean? My name, Carly, means little, strong woman. What a random definition of a name. But I'm not talking about the name that your parents gave you. I'm talking about the name that God gave you. What's that name that God gave you? Well, if you look through the scriptures, if you look through history in the Bible, God chooses his people and he calls them his chosen people, which implies that we weren't just here out of nowhere, we were chosen by God. He also uses phrases like sons and daughters. He chooses us and he calls us sons and daughters. He uses phrases like, you are no longer slaves, but I call you friends. If you think about this one particular scripture uh, throughout the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, there's this scripture where it talks about the woman with the issue of blood. She's nameless and she's just known by her issues. Imagine if all of us walking around in life, we weren't known by Carly or our name, we were known by our issues, the things that people have labeled or or things that are going wrong in our life. This is what this woman was labeled by. She was known as the woman with the issue of blood. But when Jesus heals her, he doesn't just heal her physical body. He calls her daughter. It was the first time that anybody had renamed her back into society. The truth is that when your friends When people you know, people you love, good people, well-meaning people might have labeled you in the past, Jesus gives you the only name that matters. He calls you son. He calls you daughter. That tells us that we have a place in his kingdom. We are his chosen people. Every single one of us are his chosen people. We need to remember that we're not just shaped to be like Jesus. We've been named his sons and daughters. We've been named his chosen people. We've been named no longer slaves but friends and we have what comes with that name an inheritance as a son or a daughter you get access to everything that is in the kingdom of God which means everything that Jesus says is yours he gives you the keys you have access to it so he shapes us he names us I'm just giving you some cued recall things that need to be refreshed and reminded he shapes us he names us number three he saved us. Romans 8.30, it goes on and it says, after he called them by name, he set them on a solid basis with himself. How cool is this? Jesus doesn't just shape us. We're not just named, but he saved us. Salvation means the act of saving or protecting. Jesus saved and protected us. Jesus did for us what we could never do for ourselves. In fact, this scripture in Romans 8 goes on in verses 31 and 32. And it says, so so what do you think? How cool is this question? So what do you think about salvation? What do you think about this message? What do you think about what Jesus has done for us? It says, so what do you think? With God on our side like this, how can we lose? If God didn't hesitate to put everything on the line for us, embracing our condition, 
and exposing himself to the worst by sending his own son, is there anything else he wouldn't gladly and freely do for us? Here's a cued recall. Here's a reminder. Jesus embraced our condition. He embraced all the mess, all the stuff ups, all the good intentions. He embraced all the things that we get right, all the things that we get wrong. And he chose to save us. He shaped us, he named us and he saved us. And maybe you're sitting there thinking, well, I haven't been saved. I don't even know what that means. Salvation means accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, accepting what you could never do for yourself. And right there in your living room, right there with your RDG, with your parents upstairs or downstairs, maybe you need to just accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I wonder if right there where you are, if you want to invite Jesus into your life, I wonder if you'd repeat this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, I love you. I choose you. Today, I acknowledge I've made mistakes, but I thank you and I believe that you died on the cross, that you rose again, and from today, I'm living for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you just made that decision, there's a link that's going to pop up in the chat on the screen. Why don't you click it? It's just going to be able to help us uh, take the next step and partner with you and get you connected in this journey. So this is what happens. Romans tells us, here's some cued recalls. Romans tells us that we're shaped. We're shaped to reflect and look like Jesus. We're named. We're named sons and daughters. We're named heirs. We're named as friends. We're named as His chosen people. And then He saves us because we could never do it by ourselves. He embraces our condition. And this is where we think it ends. Cool, we're saved. That's it. The truth is that there is one more. In Romans, it says we are shaped, we are named, we are saved, and then we're complete. We are complete. Romans 8.30 goes on and it says, and then, and then, implying that salvation is not the end. Salvation is your next step, but there's more to come. It says, and then, after getting them established, he stayed with them to the end, gloriously completing what he had begun. We assume that once we're saved, that's it. Salvation, it's over, we're done. We've got a relationship with Jesus. But he says, hey, I, I actually want more for you than just salvation. I want you to be complete. I want you to be whole. I want you to move forward in this life. I don't just want you saved, but I want you saved and whole, saved and complete. When Jesus was speaking to his disciples in John 14, 25 to 26, again in the message, he says, the friend, Jesus has been with them for a long time, but now he's going. And he says, the friend, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send at my request, will make everything plain to you. You don't have to remember it like a test, free recall. You don't have to try to get the events in order. He's, he's going to send us the cued recall, the Holy Spirit, who will make everything plain to us. He goes on. He says, I will remind you of all the things I've ever told you. I'll remind you of all the good things. I'll remind you of the things you need to know. He says, I'm leaving you well and whole. That's my parting gift to you. I'm leaving you well and whole. What a cool parting gift. Like when you leave somebody's house and leave them a gift, you know, we can only bring so much, but Jesus gives us a parting gift that says, I don't just want to see you saved. I want to see you saved and whole, saved and well. That's his parting gift. What does that mean? It means that he wants to see us physically healed spiritually healed, emotionally healed, mentally healed. He wants us not just saved in a relationship with Him, but He wants us to be well. He wants that anxiety to go away. He wants to see that body of yours that needs a specific healing, maybe in a broken leg, maybe in a, a, an arm, a tendon, something's wrong. He wants to see you healed. He wants to see those emotions that have hurt you your whole life. He wants to see them free. He wants to see you saved and whole and saved and complete. So I want to ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? Why are you so... What's the answer? What do you put in that blank? 
What do you say to yourself? Because we need cued recall. We need reminders every day about what God says about us, about who we are. Are. You and I, we've been shaped to reflect Jesus. We've been shaped to reflect Him. We've been named, not just with a name that our parents gave us, but we've been named as His chosen people. He chose you. You are his son. You are his daughter. You are his friend. He has saved us into his kingdom, which means we can have that relationship with Jesus. But then he wants to see us complete, not just saved, but saved and whole. So can I ask you a question? What are you going to put in that end space? Why are you so Maybe for you in this season, you need to write, I'm brave. In fact, write it in the chat right now. I don't care what anybody else thinks. You've got to have this moment of, you know what? I might just yell it out at home so my parents hear me. Why am I so, yep, I'm brave. I'm brave, I'm kind, I'm handsome, I'm generous, I'm beautiful, I'm courageous, I'm gifted, I'm talented, whatever it is. I want you to write it in that chat. So can I ask you a question? I just did. Father, thank you so much for every single young person that's listening tonight. I pray that you would remind us, you would bring to memory all the good things that you have ever done for us. I thank you that there are good things to come for every single young person, every leader watching. There are things waiting for them in their future that they still don't know that you have for them, God. I pray for a fresh revelation of your spirit. I pray for friendships to come alongside each other during this season. And I pray that we would fall more in love with you in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much, Hillsong Youth. I love you. It's been amazing to be with you. Be kind to your RDG leaders and be kind to your parents. Love you. Bye. Well, how amazing was that? Carly, thank you for such an incredible word tonight. Why don't you give some love for Carly in the chat Put for that word? Chat. I love, there was lighting up as people were hearing the Word of God and relating it to themselves. So that's pretty amazing. Steph, and a huge congratulations for everyone tonight yes. who made that decision, whether for the first time or you're bringing, you're bringing your life, giving your life back to Jesus. So can we just give claps for those yes. who have given their life tonight? We're going to put a link in the chat for you. Yeah, that's right. There's a uh, link. It helps us help you. Uh, essentially, as soon as you click on that link, we're going to have a youth leader, someone in our team, follow you up and connect you best that we know how. Steph. Yes, that's right. Absolute best. But what a night, Drew. It has been absolutely incredible. I've loved it. Pranks we made Pat. it from the B stage to the to the A stage, I, main I stage. I wasn't going to say anything, Mama but... we made it. We made it. <laughs> we made it. Okay. Now, listen, we do want to clarify. Wednesday night, the neighbourhood. Like people are like, who is it? Is it Oprah? I was like, Oprah. Is like, it Oprah? Is it Kanye? If is it's it... Oprah. Yeah. Some kids are like, who's Oprah? Don't but, worry about it. Ask your mama. But this, <laughs> do you actually not know that that could be really, sad? if you don't know who Oprah is, we'll I just, we'll I pray don't for know. You. We'll pray but for you. we had confirmation, Drew. Yeah, it's come straight from the Lord. <laughs> Close. By, by talks. But we have just in. Fresh off the fresh, press. Wait, I'm getting into something. Yeah. Some... Is coming from another country, Steph. No way. International. International. He runs and oversees all of preemptive love. His name is. <laughs> what did you just say? Preemptive love. Anyway, yes, he does run. I thought. Anyway, <laughs> you're like, he runs an international. No, no. <laughs> and overseas. Oh my he says, goodness. He runs an international overseas. Anyway, we have Jeremy Courtney. Yeah, Jeremy from Courtney. From Preemptive Love. He's going to yeah. be here Wednesday night. Yeah. Tell everybody, call your friends, call your neighbours, call your sports team, call yeah. your Instagram friends, call your MySpace old friends, call your... Bebo, Bebo, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> no, but for real, call all your best friends because oh, seven sleeps. Seven sleeps. Seven sleeps. Seven sleep cycles. It's you know launching. what it is. All of my best friends, album launch. We're sick of pretending. Oh, and man. so we're going to tune in next Friday because we're in. Yeah, you want the truth, I'm going to give it to you before we go. <laughs> Hashtag Blondie Togsy 4051. Blondie Togsy! Don't forget, we're waxing Drew's knuckles every 500 subscribers. Just remember, I, I can't touch. I can't, can't touch because hey, hey. it's COVID safe. COVID but these safe. plats, they're not going to be here next week. Every thousand, I've just upped the price because it's been in high demand. Every thousand, one braid comes off. <laughs> Every 20,000 is one braid off. I'm going anyway. to shave my head.
I'm not. Steph, I think we've exhausted ourselves. We really have. I know you guys were like, we want more. Well, you can't have any more. You can't have it. We've given you 100%. you can have more at the after party. So make sure you stay tuned, stay in the chat for the after party. But we're going to go out, Drew. Something a bit different. A little, little bit out of the blue. It's a bit... Just the remix. It's a remix Friday in preparation <laughs> for next Friday. Album launch. We're going to go to the album link right here, Love right you now. guys. Stay on the chat for the after party. Whatever this next record was going to be, it needed to be something that belonged to this generation. What Young and Free has always been. Let's just go back to what it was all about and that's young people loving God and seeing the kingdom of heaven on earth. That's all we want to do is like bring songs that the youth can run with. Then it becomes their anthem. So we decided let's record at summer camp. That's the most like true expression of our youth. A record for our youth group and by our youth group. Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. Oh, yeah.